everybody, it is officially day two. We have a very exciting day today. We are going on a wine tour. This is something that I did not think I would be able to experience, obviously, for a while, but we decided to do it. I feel like we're here, it's gonna be beautiful, and I don't know, I'm just, this has like been on my bucket list and I'm so excited for today. This has been like the day I've been looking most forward to. We also see that there's ants crawling in the living room, which we gotta figure that one out because that, could be a disaster. So I'm just gonna put on some makeup here and we are going to attempt to call a taxi and go to the meeting spot for this wine tour. I am very excited. I'm gonna just do very light makeup because it is so humid and the last thing we need is sweating it off during it. So I just added some sunscreen, a little bit of concealer, maybe some blush, brows, and call it a day. All right, I will see you guys once I'm ready. <laughs> I'm just so excited for this. And Aaron's wearing heels and I really wanted to, but I also think wine involved, it's smart for me to wear my boots, so of course. The good old Instabaddy boots are making their first appearance of many to come. You know what a wine tour is like and also I think it's a full circle moment considering a month, two months ago I did the wine tour where I drove you guys around the whole day. Yeah. It's my no, turn. It's, it's gonna be fun now that you can actually drink with us. Alright, here we go. stop and we've had a lot of red wine and let me just show you guys there's this dog that keeps rejecting me that I keep trying to hang out with it's really cute and it reminds me of Becky you might be like that dog girl that's like hey I've had my first like drink I'm, and I'm like running towards the end that's like I'm different <laughs> it's actually so cool because I feel like on the wine tour that I went on with Aaron and mom it was a lot about trying it and just like it was like a lot of drinking not a lot of learning not, exactly <laughs> that's a great way of putting it but on this one we're learning more than like the drinking where you go down into the cellars where they're holding the wine in these huge crates I feel like I'm in like a history class right now or a drinking alcohol class i don't know either way interesting if you ask me not gonna lie though it is a little bit it's hard i always heard the second day of a trip with jet lag is the hardest and i was like oh no we're fine we booked this and we're like an hour away from florence right now because that's where like all the wine country is and so Tuscany. we are a little bit tired pushing through and it's amazing and we're so happy to be here it's just funny that of course the one day we actually like plan something super long like all day we're like not doing well and that's on god since we've checked in. Let me fill you in on what's been going on. So obviously you saw yesterday the wine tour. It was so much fun for my first wine tour. We met so many amazing people on that tour and we ended up going out to dinner with them after. And then we were there for like two, three hours. And then we ended up coming back here and just crashing. I think the jet lag with the wine, with all the socializing, it just literally wrecked us. So we came back and fell asleep and I slept until 1 p.m. We had a place we were supposed to go this morning, but we're going to be rescheduling it to Saturday and it's one that we've been very excited about and so you'll see more of that in a couple days. I also just had a little work day. I was getting really behind on videos, on emails, on all sorts of stuff. So we just literally went, got a little bit of food, came back and I worked for about six hours on videos and I feel so much better. It was just weighing on me and I wanted to make sure they were done right. So now I decided to celebrate by putting on a fun little outfit and we're gonna go eat some gluten-free pizza. I please do a gluten-free as 
well. Yeah. And can I do the vegan mozzarella? We are at this pizza place that Aaron found that has gluten-free vegan pizza, which is like right up our alley. And they have gluten-free beer, which is like unheard of. And we're right by the Duomo. Cheers. We are just sitting in bed watching the dumbest videos actually and laughing our asses off. We're gonna go to bed here in a second though, but dinner was so good. Ow! <laughs> Hello, spit. Aaron was trying to convince me to watch The Hunger Games tonight. That sounds horrible. I need like good vibes right now, not that. I mean, actually, it doesn't sound horrible. I love those movies, but there's a time and place for it. I need like. I wanna go to The Hunger Games Museum. You would wanna go to The Hunger <laughs> Games Museum. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Talk until we're done I love you to your heart and back I love you to the top of your head cutest restaurant and ironically we were going to a gluten-free bakery and then we found it on the way so we didn't even end up going to the bakery it was so good i had a green smoothie bowl they had like lattes ginger shots got a juice avocado toast with gluten-free bread so good i will link that place or show the name of it if you come here it was amazing hello everyone we just ran a couple errands we went to the grocery why is my camera like so dark what is going on we went to the grocery got some more wine we got some water dish soap just a couple random things we needed we just like deep cleaned the place because it was getting a little bit chaotic <laughs> i just washed my bed completely made it there's like eight sheets to this and it took me literally 30 minutes yeah we have a couple hours until the vegan cooking class we have someone picking us up to take us there at around five until then we're just going to eat our leftover pizza walk around we've been trying to learn a little bit of italian as well while we're here so maybe we will go on our apps and do that but yeah that is the little friday afternoon update for you <laughs> this cringe Good content. That was cute. I don't know about the bottoms, dude. We're overthinking everything. We're in a weird mood right now where we don't think we're hitting. <laughs> and I need to get out of that because I hate when I get in that in that mood. We're in this literal beautiful place. Let's just go like good. get gelato and decompress and like reflect upon our actions of being cringe. <laughs> I can't take you seriously right now. No, I never wear sunglasses. Shit. You don't wear sunglasses. Because I hate them. I need to fix myself. <laughs> Well, it is about an hour until our cooking class, so we are sitting down to get ready, pouring up a glass of wine. Erin got all mad at me because I opened it wrong. Well, all I said was don't open it because every time you try, the cork thing gets like stuck inside. I was trying breaks. to learn. I understand trying to learn, but oh, you understand you were pissed at me. This is our only bottle here and I didn't want to have to leave. Either way, we got it figured out, and we're gonna watch Kissing Booth 3 because it came out, I think, like two nights ago on Netflix. I've heard a lot of mixed opinions about I've it. I've just heard people shred these movies ever since the first one, so. No, I feel like the first one everyone loved, and then it was like after the second after, one. It, no, it was after the first one, it went downhill. All right, here we go. Oh we are all set and ready to go cook some vegan food. I'm wearing this dress here from Verge Girl. I absolutely love it. It's a little sketchy because I'm hoping that when I'm, I think I'm gonna be chopping and actually cooking. I don't really know. Are we gonna go get the food? Is it just like we walk in, it's like a cooking show and you just start popping off? Is there instruction? Is it intense? Are we gonna get yelled at? Who the hell knows? But hopefully this is okay. I thought it was a fun casual dress and I just put on these little white boots from my Mamma Mia birthday. They have come so in close. They're from Amazon. They work with like everything, any kind of dress. You should definitely get a pair from Amazon if you're looking for a pair. But we have like a 15 minute walk over to the meeting spot in town. So let's go cook some vegan food.
explain how that was the best experience. This was iconic. We just made literally so much fun. Like we need to link this down below because no. it was that much fun. It's like a private thing and it's at her house and it's beautiful and it's like a little local restaurant. It's all vegan and she cooks it all right in her kitchen. Literally we just made vegan pasta. We made the noodles from scratch. I've always wanted to do that and made the homemade pesto, mm -hmm. the noodles, the sauce. We have a dessert that we're gonna have later. I forget yeah, what it's called. Yeah, we made called. a vegan, like, almost like a cheesecake little thing. And then vegan mayonnaise, which was, so I know, good. I'm in like mayonnaise, and that was so And good. then organic wine. Cheers. That was amazing. <laughs> We just finished. It was really so much fun. The mom and daughter were so nice. It was like a full private tour and it was just really cool. All vegan, like I said. They were so nice and it's like a little home restaurant they have where they literally live there on top of like looking over all of Florence and they have cooking classes. It's like a restaurant, Airbnb. Yeah, they have an Airbnb, which I thought would be so cool to stay there sometime. It was just so, like that was probably one of my favorite moments of this trip so far. So yeah, we're getting clowned on.